swing park. When I was little, my daddy took me to the swing park. Oh, we dropped Wooly. Wooly came too. On the way, Daddy kicks a ball. Oh, oh, you got it! I kicked the ball too. <laughs> at the playground, we ran around looking at all the things we could play on. The slide was very tall. Three, two, one, take it, Wooly! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I bounced on the springy seesaw. Daddy bounced on the springy seesaw too. Daddy and me jumped on the trampoline. Wooly jumped too. I swung round and round in a basket. Lullaby baby. Daddy swung in the basket too. <laughs> what shall I do? I swung in the ropes. Daddy showed me what to do. Daddy was so funny, he hung upside down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's parts for children, you know. Oh, sorry. A man with a dog told Daddy that the playground was for children. Daddy said sorry. After the man with the dog, Daddy didn't do funny things. Then Daddy pointed. There's Angel, he said. Who's that over there on the seesaw? Angel! That's your friend. It was my friend Angel. Yeah. But then I saw Angel was playing with some other children. I didn't know them. I wanted angels to play with me. Daddy said I should go and ask to join in. No, I said. I felt left out. Angel was playing with new friends and not me. Hey, Tig, you've always got me to play with. Watch me. Hey, Tig, it would be fun to join in Angel's game. Are you worried she might say no? So, why not ask Angel and her friends to join in your game? And your game is sliding Wooly down the slide. OK! Whee! Yeah, I said, grab Wooly. Hello said to Angel. Come and see Wooly slide down the slide. Yeah, said Angel. We all slid Wooly down the slide. Whee! Come on, one, three, two, one. Then we all ran off together. We pulled the bell ropes. Bang, bang, ting, well... Daddy found Willy. Ah! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love playing with my new friend. I love Willy. Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle house. One, two, I wore my favourite <laughs> wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scarf. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree in a pond with fishes. Really? Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. 
We saw a lady with no clothes. She is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelled like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Is Willie in the jungle? Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> when we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Oh. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get this scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Teg, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Tig, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Tig, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There you see. Now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I found my hat scarf in the jungle house. Really? I told Mummy and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the pram in the pond. My scarf by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. Smelt of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. uh, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <laughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willie. I love Willie. The fun fair. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Willie came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flash! Roundabouts went round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls, what ride do you want to go on first? Angel wanted to ride on everything. Who wants to go on the alligators? Me, shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed out and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who 
was right in the totems, said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The dodgems bumped and bashed. I didn't like the dodgems. Angel loved the dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's your juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. Look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Whee, woohoo, way! Those squeals are from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dee, dee, bee, bob, bee, bob, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from... The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, bonk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the honk, honk roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! He's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. The Cloud. When I was little, my mummy took me to a big, big shopping centre. Willie came too. Mummy gave me some money. Well, let's see what I've got in my hand. <gasps> Choose something to buy, she said. A shiny penny, so you can spend that on something. There were lots and lots of shops in the shopping centre. I didn't know what to choose. Let's not spend it too quickly though. Let's see what else we can see. In the shopping centre, oh, there was a lady this. painting faces. She painted a little boy to look like a cat. Mummy said, why not spend your money on a painted face? No. no, I said, I didn't want to look like a cat. High above all the people rushing, I saw balloons. Here we go. I want to buy a balloon, I said. Hi. Let's go and find them, said Mummy. <gasps> oh, look, Tig! A man was holding the balloons. Isn't he funny, said Mummy. He's a clown. I didn't think the clown was funny. The clown was scary. He had a big rubbery face and a red nose. I didn't like the scary clown. I want to go home, I said. Come on, said Mummy. Let's have something to eat. Whee! I like the cafe. There was no clown. Mummy bought me fish fingers. Mmm. Would you like some ketchup? I had tomato sauce. Down below I saw the clown. 
The clown looked up and waved. I don't like clowns. Hey Tig, you don't have to like clowns. Clowns are just people with painty faces. Anybody can be a clown. You could be a clown. I could be a clown. Some people think clowns are scary. Some people think clowns are funny. <laughs> Look, that painty faced clown is making everyone laugh. Hey Tig, why don't you be a painty faced clown and make everyone laugh too? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I want to be a painty faced clown too. Let's go. I finished my fish fingers. I asked Mummy if I could give my money to the face painting lady. The face painting lady painted my face like a clown. You're a very funny clown. Thank you very much. Mummy laughed and everyone laughed when they saw me looking like a painty face clown. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the clown. He wasn't scary. He looked just like me. The clown gave me a balloon. When the clown saw Willy, he was scared. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like clowns. I love Willy. Did you like it? Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willie came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I went to Fish Fingers. Fish Fingers. <laughs> there were no Fish Fingers. Yes. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. For you too? OK, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then we sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly. With green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. Just try a bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like olives? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like 
spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. That's brilliant. What a good girl. Oh, you're mm. loving it, are you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's <laughs> on your toy spider. Then the waiter came back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. You really like it. I like new food. You like that? So does Willie. Yeah, he likes it. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willie. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right. Let's go and get changed. I know. Why don't I take Willie? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willie to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, take. Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? Yeah. What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her leg. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, why don't Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Tig, a swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth. Spit it out. Well done, Tig. You found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh, 
I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man, so woolly. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willy came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tick? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, Come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited, I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. No, I said, I want to see the funny picture. A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! Wind machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh! 
I love Willy. Museum of Imagination. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willy came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new. But Timmy said the shiny things were old. That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars were in a traffic jam, and the lights turned green, boom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. Vroom, <laughs> off they go. I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. <laughs> Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. There's a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's going to take off and fly around the room. Timmy said the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. <laughs> but sometimes, Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. <laughs> Timmy has a big, big imagination, and that's fun. <laughs> so the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling, and trains don't fly. <laughs> Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. So go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away, only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship now? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. Yes, all the outside spiders! I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willy. Two things. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willy came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. 
Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I liked choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy likes my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. <laughs> Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop. They had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried in the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one or do I have that one? Or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Mmm. Hey, Tig, it's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose, but you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hey, Dada, this is Willie. Oh, I love Willie. We didn't go to the shops. We went a long, long way away to the country. Willie. Go and get Willie. Willie came too. In the country, we went to a gate. We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We walked down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? 
big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. What do you think? Look. Oh, Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. I want to see the cow. No, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. I knocked on the door. Oh, well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we better go and see the chickens then. OK. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. I wanted to see the cow. The chicken played some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye-bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Oh, what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past the cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Why not try it one step at a time? Wooly whispered. Tig, one step at a time, it's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, one step at a time, like grandmother's footsteps. Come on, creep up on me. Saw you. the cow. You passed the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willie? <laughs> Look, Willie. Funny cow. <laughs> Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Oh. Bye. Thanks. Come on then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah, come on then. I like cows. And I love Willie. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Willie came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. There's a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. 
Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willy. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willy. Sand Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we put When I was little, I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. OK. There was sand everywhere. <laughs> Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tig, picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. There's not sand in your sandwiches, though. There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sand castle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I loved my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I 
wanted to take my sandcastle home. <laughs> no, Teg. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Teg. Why don't you go and get Willy? I didn't want to leave my sandcastle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish! What magic shape? Swish! The sand will make tomorrow. Swish! But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. <laughs> On our way back to the car, Willie and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willy came too. We had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo-hoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clash, clash, clash. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clash, clash, clash. Hello there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. Through the country, chip, chip, chip. under the bridge, chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy, let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Please. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. Yes. Ooh, up the hill we chuck. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad 
and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to Mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at Daddy's pictures. Oops! And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You were happy again. Oh, there are the half tickets. I showed Wooly to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? He's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willy. Echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willy came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think you got the wrong time. We'll come back later. Let's go and have a wee play. Come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come into the castle? Oh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty, just walls. It smelt funny. And this is, I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I liked the little friendly room. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms and strange sounds. Hey, Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. 
They were no worse. And so me and Sammy had fun making words. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Wooly, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Wooly. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day, Mummy said, What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. Okay, just bones. Just bones didn't sound very exciting. I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my Grandad. Let's get up these big stairs. Big dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur, said Grandad. Wow. Oh uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus! It was real! It was big! It was bigger than me! It was too big! I was scared! What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig, big strange things are scary. But this big strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar. It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Do 
can't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like the podcast. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat. A sailor's hat. I love my sailor's hat. Willie likes my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. Got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats, fast boats, Slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Look, there's Peter Pan sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, my name. sailor hat was gone. Oh. It floated away. You know, it was my hat. Have my hat, said Grandad. No, no I wanted that. my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Aunt 
Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin, Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin, Dobbin let like me him. stroke him. I liked Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. We asked the Dobbin. Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie hat. Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new here. riding hat. Okay. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time for your riding lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie Shona sniffed and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey, Tig. Nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, He's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Willy. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Ready? I said, and off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I 
there late climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, okay? I ate the well, last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I love my egg sandwiches. And then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way. So you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. Right, Tig, here we are. Panda. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig, this is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We let's, had to uh, wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what, can you name there are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Let's go see what's right then there. I saw some pandas. Wow. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? We're going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Tammy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. 
Panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. We went over a wooden bridge. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions. The tigers. Whee! And the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eat a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. Always go back to sleep. Night night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, isn't it? I love Willy. I can't see a buffalo up there. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willie came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling. And it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked in the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. Hello, Maddie! Hello, Tig! When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. Oh goodness. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Kevin! Angel and Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. 
And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I'll listen to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the wood. There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Willie. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Willie likes going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open we got on. I was so happy rattling and shiggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I love the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. I think this could be... Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. <laughs> we made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy likes our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride on a real subway? Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. Come on. We played subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, oh, said Mummy. But me and Angel were having and, uh, fun. Then Mummy stopped us. She no stood between playing. us okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on, said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors 
opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it, Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willy. Hey, Tig. I love you.